everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome. My name is Meg, and today I'm going to be using the Morphe James Charles palette, and I'm going to do concealer versus eye primer. Big topic in James's video, and <laughs> kind of a little bit of a controversy, as much as he is trying to avoid it. Um, is the quality of the shadows in this palette has been quite a debate online on Twitter I've been seeing um, a lot of people are concerned about why you need to use an eye primer why concealer just won't work all of that so if you are new into makeup or you're not quite understanding it hopefully this video will gain some clarification um, I did concealer on one eye primer on the other there are differences we will get into that as the video goes on and I will be showing you how to achieve this look today Hello everyone, I'm just interjecting in this video really fast because when I first started doing these videos I wasn't sure how I was going to plan them out. Now that I'm wrapping it up, I do have an idea of how this is going to go. So I'm just explaining this week on my channel to you very, very briefly. I may be mentioning the video that you're already watching, but just hang tight with me here for a second. So every single day this week, I'm uploading a different video on the Morphe and James Charles palette. So with that, there's definitely a review that's coming. There is a comparison of an eyelid primer versus concealer, which works best with this palette. You'll get to see me do one eye concealer, one eye primer, battle it out. Um, I'll be doing a comparison video of the brighter colors in here compared to the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And I'm also going to show you different tutorials using the brighter shades if you want to unleash your inner artist or if you want to keep it a little bit kick back and relax. I also have a cool toned smoky eye and then this warm toned one that I'm going to teach you how to do. So <laughs> be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on the other videos that I'm uploading. I will have the playlist listed and linked down below. Be sure to check it out. And if you're not here for Morphe and James Charles, I hope to see you back next week for my other videos. But I just wanted to give a brief explanation on how you can expect my content to be laid out for this week. And let's get into the video that you're watching. Ready. Eyes are nice and primed and I can definitely see why I love using concealer because obviously it covers up the redness and veins so I wish this Morphe one had some coverage to it. I really want to try the P. Louise but I'm kind of hoping like it will eventually make its way to the United States so I don't have to pay a ton for shipping. Um, but today I'm really drawn to the pinks and the purples so I think what I'm going to do is go right in for it with the hot pink and put it in my crease. Ooh, I'm so like excited slash nervous. All right, so to pack this on, I'm using that Morphe M433. Um, for these brighter shadows, this is just a technique that I've been doing pretty much, I think, since the start of summer. Hello, pigment. Tapping off the extra. Um, is that you want to pack the colors on rather than just going in and swirling it Especially when you're working with a tacky eyeshadow base packing it on is really going to get the pigment to stick to the lid That's why I like using a thin layer of the shape tape concealer because it has the slightest bit of tackiness and grip to it um, So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and pack this into my crease as I normally would I think I'm going to try to focus on having a more rounded look today. So off the bat with the primer side, it looks like it's applying a little bit patchy. So to keep a rounder eye shape, I'm just literally going to go around essentially the shape of my eyeball throughout my entire crease. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick up some more product and do the same on the concealer side. And it looks like there's like a just a hint of patchiness there. This isn't anything abnormal for me, okay? Especially working with bright neon colors. They're really hard to develop. They're really hard to get truly pigmented. So you have to go in with these with 
a minimum of two layers. Some colors you have to do three, but you can just see a second layer just fix that and we can see just how pigmented the shadow is. this is what we are left with this pigment in person looking in my mirror this side does look like a lighter and brighter pink this side it's just a little bit darker and I had to work with it a little bit more but it wasn't anything to deter me from just con to continue using concealer so now to blend that a little bit I'm going to be taking pinkity drinkity love that um and I'm just using, again, another M433 blending brush. Let's see how this goes. So for this, I'm depositing 50% of the color onto the hot pink, 50% of the color onto fresh territory. And again, I'm just going to be using the padding motions because I am, I am going to be using padding motions to lay this down just because I don't want to smear the hot pink around. And then I can work on blending it. I do think yellow would be a really pretty color to blend the pink out with, but today I just want to stick to pinks and purples. And I'm only saying that because I kind of regret my choice and wish I went in with yellow. <laughs> so this color isn't super pigmented, which is a good thing because I'm going to bring it up a little bit higher up towards my brow bone actually. And then I'm going to go back in with the brush with the pink and then just lightly blend the edges. I did not pick up any new product. I know it's hard to tell because it's so subtle, but it did have a nice blend. Again, it's such a subtle difference, but this eye is softer and more blended than the concealer eye. Now we're going to get into the heart of some purple. So I'm going to go in with the dark purple for my crease to deepen things up. And in case you couldn't tell the main reason why I wanted to do a pink purple look is because this color is freaking calling my name. So we'll get to it. Um, again, what color? What brush? Again, a different M433. <laughs> I'm going to pick this up. I know my brushes are stained. They're like clean dirty. I have one of these little sponges I run to get excess color off. So the brown that's on the brush isn't transferring to my eye look. So now what I'm going to do is start packing this on to about the outer half of my lid. I'm gonna start building it up into my crease. Again, with the concealer eye, you can see that things are looking a tad bit patchy, a little bit more blended and focused over here. Um, but it just honestly means you just have to work with the shadow a little bit more. So now I'm going to actually try to blend the purple with this pink. 
Hmm. Also with the concealer eye, I was having to dip into the color a few more times. as good as it's going to get so now I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and I'm going to try to clean up my lid because I want to have like a cut crease type of look with the purpley shadows purple sparkle shadow so I'm just slowly and carefully making my way through my lid I'm not going to go too far into the crease with trying to erase color just mostly trying to get it off the lid. Now this is where it would be convenient to have a paint pot or the P. Louise base because it does have some coverage to it. So I'm gonna see what I can do with this Morphe base. I used to love the paint pots actually, like as a side note, I used to love them. But I recently repurchased from Ulta and like I did not like the formula. It was super greasy for some reason. So I don't know if I had a fluke or if they just like really changed the formula on them. So I took a hair of this primer from Morphe, spread it out onto the lid. This is gonna make me sad because this eye or the concealer eye is about to look so much better. <laughs> So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of concealer onto this Sephora concealer brush. And then now what I'm going to do is just take my finger and blend the concealer into the shadow. And now I'm going to, oh God, do I go in with a brush and then my finger? All right, normally I would just go into the shadow with my finger, but for the sake of the video, I'll use a brush, but I'm going to go into this beautiful, gorgeous shade called Artistry. It just looks like magic. We'll see. This is like, it's not even wanting to pick up on my brush. So yeah, going in with my finger. Oh, it is so beautiful. It is like a blue purple duochrome with some pink in it. It's basically like a combination of everything that I just have on my eye right now. Definitely having to layer this on. And then I'm just going to lightly finesse this into the rest of the outer corner. Very pretty. It's very pretty, but I just hate it because I can see gaps of my skin still peeking through. So like not having that opaque concealer base is kind of driving me a little bit nuts right now. And this is sticking so much better to the concealer. Oh, this is so interesting. Alrighty, so here, the concealer side looks so much better, so I think it's safe to say if you're doing a cut crease and you're using a shimmer, you can still go ahead and use the concealer. I'm going to take this off and redo it because this side is just making me sad, to be honest. It's upsetting me. I am going to fix this eye, apply the rest of my makeup before I do my under eye in BRB. To finish up the lower lash line, first I am going to take that dark purple color called Escape, and I'm gonna pack that onto my lower lash line with the Morphe M432 brush. I'm just gonna take that right where my root of my lashes is and wiggle it around through, almost all the way to the very inner corner. To blend out the 
Purple on an e.l.f. contour brush. I am taking the hot pink, which is called Skip, to blend that shadow. I'm just going to smudge it around. And then to blend that further, I'm taking this Soho brush. It isn't labeled with a number or anything, but I'm taking Pinkity Drinkity on that, and I'm going to blend that even further. For inner corner highlight, I'm just taking the shade Ring Light on a tapered flat brush. All right, so here you can see the finished eye look at a distance. Everything looks pretty symmetrical, pretty even, but of course I can definitely tell a difference. Alrighty, so I definitely think that the eyeshadows perform better. They blended easier and they were more pigmented on the primer side. And even now you can just see how flawless of a blend, how the pink just looks like it has a little bit of a haze and a ring around it. And over here is just a little bit patchy looking. It's not as vibrant. Um, so there is a significant difference with the blendability. So the eye primer definitely won for that. What the eye primer didn't win for was the cut crease. You can still definitely do a cut crease with the concealer if you're working with a shimmer and just pack it on because it packed on absolutely flawlessly and I'm really happy with how that came out. However, on this side, even though I use concealer and I use it as um, a cut crease, I think using it as a base too affected it because I feel like even the shimmer didn't apply as nicely or as evenly. Um, so there was a slight difference with that. And then even in the outer corner, you can see the darker purple. It's just not as blended into the pink and it's definitely a little bit patchy versus over here. It just looks like a more seamless blend. Yes, overall with the mattes, I definitely recommend working with an actual eye primer. And then for the shimmers and a cut crease, you can still get away with using concealer for that. So problem solved. I also didn't really have much of an issue on my under eye. Um, I just used my concealer and set it with a powder. It worked pretty well. For some reason, this eye, I had a little bit difficulty blending it out the pink. I had to work a little bit more at it. But all, overall, there really wasn't much of an issue. Let me know in the comments below what color combinations you would like to see from me next because I definitely want to get a lot of use out of this palette. Let me know what you think of it. Did you buy it? Do you like it? Do you, have you noticed a difference using the concealer versus the primer? Let me know in the comments below. Again, thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Check out my other videos so you can catch up on my other content. And I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.